twice the number plus 2. So, if we were going to think it critically, twice the number plus 2. Welcome back to my channel and on today's video, pag-aakala natin how to translate the verbal phrases to our algebraic expressions. But before that, if hindi po pa napanood yung um, previous video natin about algebraic expressions, to evaluate the algebraic expressions, what I highly advise you is to click the link above <laughs> para mapanood mo siya. Okay? And before mo panoorin to, dito mo na panoorin yung ating video ngayon para mas maintindihan natin to um, translate the verbal phrases to algebraic expressions, okay? So, let's start guys. So, for now, on this lesson, the main objective of it is malalaman natin how to translate the verbal phrases to algebraic expressions. We will going to use a logical thinking natin para mas malaman natin kung paan ito is solved, okay? One needs to develop the skills on interpretation. Interpretation in terms na um, from words apunta sa numbers and vice versa. On today's example, on this one, 3 more than a number. If we were going to translate that one from verbal phrases to algebra expressions, 3 more than a number. Kung papag-aaralan natin ng lesson 1 natin, which is um, regarding sa um, terminologies and algebra expressions, alam natin na mayroon tayong tinatawag na word na variable. Right? And a variable represents a number. And example of variable is all the letters you can. So, on this case, para malaman natin ito, um, let x, so gamitin natin si, si letter x. So, let x be a number. So, it, mean, it means, guys, that um, this number will represent x. Okay? So, ang sabi dito, 3 more than. Pag sinabi natin 3, so it is 3. Pag sinabi natin more than, pag sinabi more than sa ating fundamental operations, ang, ang ini-indicate nito is word na addition. So, 3 plus a number. Ang sinabi naman natin, let x be a number. So, a number represent by x. Right? Okay. So, 3 plus x. So, this is the answer. When we translate verbal phrases to algebra expressions, 3 more than a number, the answer is like this. Or, pwede rin naman x plus 3. Mm -hmm. Paano pa ako pwede siyang, pwede siyang mangyari x plus 3 or 3 plus x? Kung, mapa, kung matatandaan natin sa ating associative property of addition na walang magbabagong sagot if ever na kahit na pagbalik pa sila. Okay? Next. For example, number 2. Twice the number plus 2. So, if we were going to think it critically, twice the number plus 2. So, on this case, the keyword here is less. When we say less, on our uh, fundamental operations, less is equivalent to minus. Right? Okay, that's good. Then, itong sinasabi, twice the number. So, if we were going to twice the number, which is a number represented by x or any letter, but, um, simply, most famous the x. So, let x be the number, or represent a number. So, x. Then, ang sinabi, twice the number. Doblihin si number. When we say doblihin si number, it indicates what? It indicates on our fundamental operation, it indicates multiplication. So, pag sinabi twice, doble. So, it, it is represented by number 2. So, 2x minus 2. Now, question. So, this is the answer, okay? So, now, question. Pwede ba na gawin ganito? 2 or negative 2 plus 2x 
-hmm. On this case, possible yan. Okay? Pero kung sasabihin ng ganito, 2 minus 2x, hindi na siya possible. Okay? Let's let's try it na ano na gawin natin siyang example. What if x is equivalent to 1? Kung ito yung magiging sagot, 2 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? Okay. So, kung yung pangalawa natin sagot is negative 2 plus 2x. So, let's check this, ano, this example. So, possible ba ito? Tingnan natin. If negative 2 plus 2 then 1. So, negative 2 plus 2 is equivalent to 0. So, pwede itong mangyari. But, tignan natin if possible 2. So, 2 minus um, 2 negative 1 is equivalent to 0 again. What if number 2 ito? 2 2 and then 2. Tignan natin yung magiging difference. So, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 2 is 2. Then, negative 2 times, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. But on this case, 2 then minus 4 is equivalent to negative 2. So, there is a um, big changes regarding pag pinagbaliktad natin siya. So, the correct answer is this and this one. And on this third example and our last example, binigay kung ano yung variable na gagamitin natin. And ang sabi dito, let n be the age of Noel. Okay. So, ang gagamitin natin yung representation of a number is the n na magiging represent ng age ni Noel. Okay? Now, on the first question, ito yung sabi, how old was he five years ago? Ito. Anong pinaka-keyword natin dyan? Ang pinaka-keyword natin dyan is the word five years ago. When we say five years ago, nakalipas na ba yun? O, ano pa lang, papuntang five years pa lang? Diba when we say five years ago, nakalipas yung limang taon? Tama? So, on this case, when we say how old was he after five years ago, so, let n represent a number. Let n represent a number. And the word ago represent a minus sign. Or on our um, on our fundamental operation, it is subtraction sign. Then, 5. So, this, this is the answer. How about, um, how old? would be 10 years from now. Okay? If 10 years from now, ilang taon si Noel? So, eto. Let n represents a number. Then, from now, represent addition. Mula ngayon, pakunta sa 10 years na yun ilang taon na si Noel. Okay? So, plus 10. So, this is the answer. Okay? So, any questions so far? Mm -hmm. So, madali lang siya, di ba? Kasi, this is the best thing na kailangan natin matutunan to solve a real problem. Solve a real problem on mathematics. And, on this case, we can apply this one on our real life. Okay. So, any questions so far? Mm -hmm. Kung wala nang questions, meron ako ang ipapa ang quiz sa inyo. Okay? Hi mga parents. Um, ito yung hinanda ko sa inyo to test your knowledge regarding sa lesson natin. How to translate the verbal phrases to algebraic expressions. So, ano lang to? 1, 2, 3, 4. Five lang to, okay? So, and kung may question kayo regarding sa ating um, lesson ngayon, just comment it down below. And also, um, don't forget to 
to like this video and share it sa mga kasamahan natin so that uh, makatulong tayo in how to translate verbal phrases to algebra expressions, okay? And if hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, don't forget to subscribe button below and click the notification bell para mas ma-notify kayo sa mga susunod natin video, okay? So, um, hila mga karaster, so see you in our next vlog. Bye!